How are you all doing? Happy Friday, everyone. Um, just going to share a quick vlog with regard to the difference between a multifunctional heat pump and a water chiller with heat recuperation. Um, we had a consultant on to us there this morning where they have a project where they have an immediate cooling requirement and they will have a heating requirement down the road. Um, and they're basically asking, could they just use a chiller with a recuperator? And which you can, um, but you are governed, the amount of heat you're going to get is dictated by the amount of cooling you have at any given time. So what I'll do is I'm just going to share um, a couple of slides just to explain this a little bit better so you understand the difference between the two, okay? So um, here we go. I'm going to jump down. This is part of the designer training program that we give. Um, so I have three slides here that show, I'm just jumping to it here now. So three slides that show the difference in the mode of operation, okay, for a multifunctional heat pump. So like I said, the chiller recuperator can only give you heating when you have a cooling load and the amount of cooling you get, or sorry, the amount of heating you get is very much um, dependent upon the amount of cooling you have. Um, and you have what's called total heat rejection. So your cooling capacity plus your compressor input power, which is typically about a third or thereabouts, will, will be the amount of heating you get at any given time, as I say. The difference with a multifunctional heat pump is you can have cooling only, you can have heating only without a cooling load, or you can have simultaneous heating and cooling. So this is um, a very basic sample schematic um, for a refrigerant circuit, where you have two circuits, um, a compressor on each, and you would typically have a multiple of these depending upon the size of your chiller. Um, you're pumping your high pressure, high temperature gas through your condenser, down through your expansion valve, into the evaporator, um, and you can see in this case, the heat recuperator, the other heat exchanger, number two here, is not being used. So in this mode of operation, we are not heating, we are only cooling, okay? Uh, and both circuits are dedicated just to cooling at the moment, okay? Um, when we have a heating demand and no cooling demand, the refrigerant is diverted. And um, again, this is a very simple schematic. There are four-way valves, intelligent controls, um, suction accumulators, all these other components um, that you would have, but this is very simplistic, okay? So just to highlight, your compressors pump your high pressure, high temperature gas through the recuperator, thereby heating the water. Um, and again, the refrigerant then goes on down through the expansion valve. What was a condenser is now an evaporator and you have your low pressure, low temperature gas back to your compressor. Um, so that is heating mode, um, where, even when there's no cooling. So that's the difference between the multifunctional heat pump here and the chiller recuperator. You cannot do this mode when you have a chiller or a recuperator, you can only get heating when you have cooling. Um, of course, with the multifunctional heat pump, you can have simultaneous cooling and heating at the same time. So you can see the external heat exchanger that was a condenser or an evaporator is now completely out of the loop. So your refrigerant is pumped down through the recuperator and um, high pressure, high temperature gas, thereby heating the water on down through the expansion valve, reduces your pressure and temperature, and um, which is obviously lower than the water temperature, thereby cooling the water and then back to your compressors. So in this mode of operation, uh, we, we, we call it T or total efficiency ratio. You have simultaneous heating and cooling at the same time. So you're more than doubling your E or your energy efficiency ratio. Um, so look, we'll just show you those couple of slides um, so you understand the difference between a chiller with a recuperator and a multifunctional heat pump. The multifunctional heat pump can give you whatever you want, whenever you want. So cooling only, heating only, or simultaneous heating and cooling. The chiller with a recuperator can only give you heating when you have a cooling demand. Okay, so I hope that explains it for you. Um, uh, my uh, son who works with us here wanted um, a, an explanation to pass on to a, a consultant, like I said this morning. So uh, I hope this satisfies that requirement. Thank you very much.